An Ohio County jail has released 72 inmates over the weekend as a result of continuing budget cuts and staffing shortages at this, this share. So this happened in Summit County. Um, they ran out of money. So because they ran out of money, pretty much what they did is, you know, they shut, the, they shut down two housing units and in order to bring the inmate population down to 522 inmates from the high of 671 inmates. Uh, and now, pretty much, most of the 72 inmates released were charged with misdemeanors, including, so they released these, they just got rid of them because they couldn't afford it, right? I mean, the city is in that bad of straits. The, um, the jail has lost more than 100 employees since 2009 due to budget cut, county budget cuts. Um, cope with, you know, the defeat of a recent sales tax hike in November. It cost about $126 a day for an inmate to be jailed. Now, here's the thing. This is the crazy part to me. So, you know, I don't talk about this very often, but let's just do some calculations here. So it costs $126 a day for them to house an inmate at a county jail. That means over the course of a year, if you are in the county jail for a year, it costs $45,990 to house you in jail. The average per pupil allocation, or how much money we spend per child to attend a public, to, do it, to get a good public education, cost about, on average, twelve to $19,000. So we're spending four times more money housing an inmate in the county jail than we're spending on educating a child. So here's my thought, a novel concept. Let's flip this, let's flip the, this arithmetic on its head. Let's spend $45,990 in places like Summit County, Ohio, and put that investment in each child per year. So every child walks into the school and they get a check. I ripped the paper. And the check is for $45,000 a year to educate them, getting them all the tools and all the resources they need. I guarantee you this much, if we do it right, you will have such a small, a negligible prison population because these kids will be educated and they'll be given the opportunity they need to be successful members of society, to have the true grit and the resources they need to be great Americans and to achieve great things and to pursue their dreams and to be doctors, to be lawyers, to be attorneys, to be mechanics, to be firefighters, to police officers. And we will solve this school to prison pipeline.